If you're thinking about moving sometime soon and you're gonna be buying a house, here's a couple of hacks for you for the week you move in. What's up guys, Steve Bizogany, Philly's real estate agent. Today's topic, we're gonna to be, the move-in week is kind of a, uh, a big deal. So I wanted to just go over some of the things that, you know, try to make the stress of move-in week a little bit less stressful. So uh, let's get right into a couple suggestions I've had, I've come up with for you. First, you've just moved, so you're in a new neighborhood. So get to know the neighborhood. I, I mean, you know, you probably don't have your kitchen unpacked yet, so you probably don't wanna be ordering things like you know, Blue Apron or any of those other food websites that you can order from. Instead, get out and, get, you know, go learn about your neighborhood. Go to local restaurants, support some of the local bars, to some of the, the hot spots, the food places, uh, and whatever else is going on. Get out and go see the community while you're moving in. That way you're not stressed about your kitchen not being unpacked. So that's that's probably the first thing I do. Actually, I think I lied. Uh, the first thing you should have done has been very, very organized. All of the boxes that you are moving with should all be labeled. And all of the boxes that once they are in the house, like after you've got them off the moving truck, put them in their appropriate rooms. Don't worry about unpacking them yet. Just I'll put them all where they're supposed to go. That way, you know, each box has everything that it's supposed to be and everything's where it's supposed to be. That's just not organized the way you'd like it yet. So just stay organized. This will make the move so much easier and smoother. I know what you're probably thinking. You're also probably thinking that that's going to suck to unpack it knowing that you have these boxes full all over your house. Don't worry about that. So what I would do is schedule a unpack date for each room. That way you don't, you know, don't stress yourself out and uh, know that you unpack them all at one time. You know, maybe pick Thursday will be one room and Friday will be another room and then Saturday will be two other rooms and Sunday will be two other rooms. And we, you know, go from there. Just every room should have an unpack date and take it one step at a time and make it nice, you know, take off, you know, chunks of the move instead of all at one time and overwhelming yourself. Another thing I would pay attention to is something that I really screwed up on the day I moved in is I just kept going to and from the store and I kept going back and forth and back and forth. And that was really stupid. What I would do is uh, live in the house for maybe four to seven days and compile a list of all the things that you need. And then when you're at the end of the week, just go one time to the store and get everything you need and just keep a list of things as opposed to what I did, which was every hour I was going to the store and back and to the store and back. That was really stupid, a waste of time and a big headache to be honest, completely honest. With you. And finally, don't worry about furnishing the house all at once. There's nothing wrong with having empty rooms in your house. Uh, there's, just don't get stressed out about that. Some people think that they just have to furnish the whole house right away and that everything has to be um, done right away. Don't worry about it. And then more importantly, don't finance all of your furniture. It's not that necessary to have a completely full uh, room, every room in the house being full. 0% financing on furniture is a trap. It is designed to make you not want to pay it back so that eventually the interest accrues. Don't fall for that trap, save up money, pay cash for your furniture and then don't owe money when you own it. So that way when it's in your house, it's your furniture and you don't have to make payments on that. You just, you just bought a house. You have a mortgage to pay now. Don't want, you don't want to be sending that money anywhere else except to your own bank account and obviously get that mortgage off your back as quick as possible. So those are my tips today, guys. I hope you got a lot out of that and I will see you guys in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video and you have questions about buying a home, selling a home, or just Philadelphia real estate in general, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you out with any questions you have.